Hey, welcome everyone. My name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you for joining me. So I've gotten a lot of requests about uh, people wanting to see my collection. Um, if you've watched a number of my videos, then you know that I've got over 9,000 CDs. People want to know how I store it, where I store it, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to run through that today. Uh, before we go any further though, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like. All those things really help my channel. Um, of course, if you do that, then you'll be able to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of music. Uh, just like this, uh, we are going to be taking a look around at uh, my collection today as opposed to some particular artist collection, but uh, something a little different here. So we'll get started. And this wall that's behind me, you'll probably recognize it's where I film a lot of my videos from. Uh, this is my, uh, you know, CD rack here that holds 800 CDs, but it's like my top 800. It's the thing that I go to all the time that I keep um, everything I'm currently listening into. And uh, some of the other videos you've seen, I've had these uh, white boxes. They store 90 CDs. Uh, you're going to see some of those as we go around today in here. Uh, but I'll go into those boxes. I'll pull stuff out that I'm listening to, file it away on the wall and so forth. But in this wall, I also keep a lot of classics in here, stuff that are just, you know, go-to type things. Uh, like we've got Aerosmith in here, ACDC, we go into Asia. And so, you know, the thing with this is I keep everything. So I've got classic rock, prog rock, heavy metal, hard rock, hair bands, um, alternative, you know, everything is in this that I listen to, that type of stuff. So continuing on, you know, that's right next to Blind Melon, next to, you know, Bullet Boys, uh, Britney Fox, Babylon AD, black and blue next to classic rock like Boston, Bad Company. I also file into these things like side projects and stuff right next to it. Uh, so I've got Brian House solo. He was the vocalist, uh, one of the vocalists in uh, Bad Company. Um, you know, then we go on down to uh, bon Jovi, we go into Black Crows, Bad English, next to Jackson Brown, Blackfoot, uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive, next to Sebastian Bach from Skid Row, uh, Black Star Riders, next to Cinderella, Cure, Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains, Chris Cornell from Soundgarden, The Cult, The Cars, uh, next to John Carpenter. John Carpenter is the guy that does the movies like Halloween, The Fog, Escape from New York, you know, those classic 80s movies with those electronic type scores in it. He's the one that does those. Candlebox, I've got Kevin Martin solo mixed in with it. Next to Doro, continuing on down to Dream Theater, Def Leppard, Danger Danger, The Damn Yankees, Dio next to Depeche Mode, Duran Duran, Devo, The Doors, and this just keeps going on. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I think it'd kind of be boring, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. And then, you know, mixed in with this, you'll see things are just stacked on here. So this even goes above and beyond the 800 because of that. And, and it's things like this. I've got these uh, sleeve, thin sleeve ones that um, don't really fit in with all of the jewel cases and they don't have spines, so you can't read them and they just get kind of lost. So those end up stacking up here like that. I've also got this thing up here which are for discs that are too big to go down on these shelves here. And so like as an example, I've got a uh, motorhead in one of these uh, book type things, a limited edition one, and it goes up here because it's too tall to sit with the rest. But then there's also these other very thin ones um, that are just, again, too thin, in my opinion, to sit next to the others and or a little tall. So those go up there. And then I've also got uh, smaller box set things that I listen to a lot like April Wine, Alan Parsons, The Cars, Atlanta Rhythm Section, stuff like that mixed in up here. So that gives you a little idea of this here. We're going to uh, fade out and go to a different section. We'll pick back up and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, everyone, we're back. So we're actually in the same room. We're just on the opposite side. Uh, the side over there, that was the side that had the 800 CD rack. We're now on the opposite side. I've got a desk over here that's got uh, those shelves that are stacked above it. It's one of those things that leans on the wall. You've probably all seen them and know what I'm talking about. So I've taken this thing over. I've turned it into a uh, CD box set storage. Uh, I've lost the space for my computer. Uh, no big deal. I'm a big music fan. I'd rather store CDs on it anyway. So that's what this is here. 
Um, top part of this is uh, smaller box sets, the kind that usually have uh, replica album cover type things, and the ones that are below it are the bigger box sets, uh, ones that come with the book and the memorabilia and stuff like that. Uh, both of them are just really, um, you know, the, the ones that I listen to a lot. So it starts with A and ending with Z and the same thing down here. And I've got more box sets and we're gonna see those in a bit. Um, you can see I also, you know, stack stuff on top of these where it hasn't been filed away yet. Uh, newer things that just came out, that kind of stuff. Um, and so, you know, uh, hard to find space to store things, especially here in New York City. But um, we got a lot of stuff in here. We got David Bowie uh, next to Budgie, Chris Cornell, Def Leppard, um, Flying Colors, Ingve Malmsteen, The Police, Tom Petty, Pearl Jam, R.E.M., uh, Tool, U2, Yes, More Yes, Neil Young, ZZ Top, and we come down here and we got ACDC, Brian Adams, Bon Jovi, Black Sabbath, uh, Alice Cooper, The Cult, Def Leppard Faces, NXS, Paul McCartney, REM, Rolling Stones, Rush, Rod Stewart, U2, White Snake, uh, The Who, Steve Winwood, and more, yes. And yes, I am a prog rock fan, so that's why I got a lot of this stuff in here. You'll probably see it throughout, and if you didn't already know, I have a playlist on here that's like all the, the yes-related product uh, in one for its reviews. Uh, you can check that out and stuff and whatnot. So we're gonna fade out from this one. We're gonna go to a different area, and I'll show you some more. All right, welcome back everyone. So we're in another room, different part of my apartment. Um, these are the boxes that you've seen me make. Uh, each of these holds 90 CDs. Uh, this is a stack 12 high each. Uh, so it's four rows, 48 boxes of uh, 90 CDs a piece. So again, you can start crunching some numbers there and see what is uh, being stored right here. But the way that this works is uh, the boxes that are here, this is all rock, uh, classic rock type stuff. This would have like Bad Company, and uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Aerosmith, and the ACDC and that kind of stuff that's in it. The one that's next to it, this one here, all hair bands, the whole thing. 12 boxes of this stuff. Uh, everybody's inside there, the damn Yankees, uh, Motley Crue, uh, Def Leppard. I, you know, I know they're, not everybody considers all these the hair bands, but it's what I grew up on in the 80s, and so it makes it into that box there, right? Okay, the one that's next to it, this one here, all heavy metal all the way down. And the way these work is the boxes that are on top start with the A's and moves into the B's, the C's, and so forth. They are alphabetical in the sense that all the A's are grouped together, all the B's are grouped together, and all the C's and so forth. But I don't really worry if it's truly 100% alphabetical. Right, I'm not worried that it's uh, you know, literally by the letter kind of a thing, but I do group everything so that if I'm looking for a band that begins with the letter A, I know I'm starting at the top of them. I'm looking for a band that begins with the letter T, like Triumph, I gotta go down low for that, right? And then next to it over here, this is all alternative rock, right? So that's how this works here. I've got a ton of these. I've actually got a whole slew more boxes like that that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Up here, you can see more stuff. This is uh, box sets that uh, just don't have a home. They live on top of this. Uh, this stack here is uh, stuff that I pull out from these boxes that I want to listen to. It's sort of like in a queue. And the stuff that sits on top, when I am you know, don't know what I want to hear and I'm just kind of at a dry spell, I come out and I grab something from that. It's just things that I see that I'm going through and I'm like, oh, hey, I'd like to listen to it. But I might not be in the mood right now, so I save it for when I am. You know, Like I said, when I'm in a little bit of a dry spell and I don't know what to listen to. So that's that stack there. Um, and then, yeah, these are just, these are actually ones that got to go back in. That's how that works. It gets stacked there and eventually they get filed away and stuff like that. But uh, again, so here's this area here. I'm going to show you one more of these areas and then we're going to wrap everything up. All right. Welcome back, everyone. All right. So we're in another area here. This is actually uh, my bedroom. It's where I sleep. And uh, instead of having a headboard, uh, there's this curtain here that actually blocks the beds down below here. This actually blocks boxes worth of CDs and things like that. And I, I didn't really want to stare at them. So I hung a uh, rod and hung curtains in front of it, kind of a thing like this. Uh, you can see stereo next to here, book uh, shelf and whatnot. Uh, so the thing is, is just, you know, when I start moving this out of the way, you can see that there's uh, stacks and stacks more of CDs. I'll even pan down a bit here for you. Uh, you can see that it's, uh, 
uh, goes into stacks of boxes like that. And then these boxes here each hold uh, 30 CDs a piece. So, uh, you know, more and more of those. And this thing is four uh, rows deep worth of boxes and stuff like that. And uh, these things here, these are uh, used CDs that I've bought that uh, have yet to be filed away and the rest of those things. Uh, the ones next to it are collections. They're a little more specialized. It's got like a new wave section in there. It's got a um, section for 1960s rock, stuff like that. So these boxes are specialty boxes, uh, usually ones that are filed away um, for particular genre type, a very specific thing that when I get in that mood, I wanna take that whole box of 90 and listen to the whole thing instead of having to clean through or go through you know, 12 or 15 big boxes to pull out everything kind of a stuff and that's what this stuff is that lives back here but again when I don't want to see it I just pull the curtains back in front of it voila you know looks a hell of a lot cleaner and nicer than uh, stacks of boxes and stuff all right um, we're going to fade out from this one we'll pick back up in, in the other room and we'll be closing out all right everyone we're back uh, this is sort of uh, collecting through. You can see how uh, the rack of 800 outside the door here is that uh, wall of 48. Uh, here's another bookcase next to me that I stack things on that I'm currently listening to. Uh, this thing happens to sit next to my stereo and TV, so it makes it really convenient. But that's uh, how and where I store and uh, how I listen to and what I choose to pull out and that sort of stuff and display. But there you go. Hope that uh, gives you guys a, a little more understanding of uh, me and what I listen to and how I store the 9000 and all those great things. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, that would really help. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye, everyone.